so they will add a pinch of rumour to their recipe of disaster just to make that concoction a little bit more spicy. <laughs> Hey guys, hope you're all doing well and that you had a great week. To all of my house guests, come in, make yourselves at home, make yourselves comfortable. If you're visiting my channel for the first time and you'd like to become a house guest, don't forget to hit subscribe and activate all of your notifications. I'm Chez, this is Chemoi, welcome to my place. House rules. Please do not watch this video if you have absolutely no interest in the subject matter, as indicated by the thumbnail. You struggle to simply accept other people's opinions when they don't necessarily align with yours. You're a professional point misser. You are not able to engage respectfully. Remember that there are countless other channels that cater specifically to your needs and preferences. Therefore, Please feel free to exit this video and engage with their content instead. Couple goals. It's an expression that really makes me cringe. I'm not one who's ever been immersed in the world of celebrity, but I am disturbed about how young people view celebrity relationships, whether they be mainstream or online. And they really believe the illusion that these couples live an aspirational picture perfect life. For the last month or so, seeing this particular couple in my timeline, every day has been so unavoidable that I actually took the bait and familiarised myself with their situation. Definitely not couple goals. And if you're someone who follows internet celebrity couples, then you already know that Jamie Perkins released a long video earlier this week with apparent evidence to support his claims as to why he left his wife, Nikki. For me, it was a very, um, it was, it was not, it was not nice to watch. It was not nice to hear. He went into a lot of detail and, you know, I'm going to reserve judgment. I don't even want to talk about them. If I do, it will be in a later video, maybe in a coffee chat, but we've yet to hear her side. It's very ugly, the whole situation, from what I gather. I don't follow these guys, not really interested, but what really grieves me is the effect that it's having on their children. And the media, they love it. They love all of this drama. They can't get enough of it. Because I thought it was just going to be confined to social media. It's actually gone out onto mainstream media. Um, and everyone's talking about this and I you know for me it's um, it's just fodder for gossip and it's and it's awful it's horrible it's horrible it's horrible it's horrible and that's why you know I just I just observe the insatiable appetite of well, I guess just the media, but society in general that loves all this stuff. And now that there are more allegations that have come out um, externally with regard to the age gap between these two, the age gap was there from day one, but they were couple goals from day one. Now that they're no longer couple goals, the age gap has become a major issue. And I just find it so interesting. Disturbing, but interesting. I, I just shake my head.
For those of us who are not afraid of commitment and still believe in marriage, we look forward to that phase of life which is full of hope for the future, while at the same time understanding that significant and sometimes uncomfortable changes are inevitable. For those of us who've been married, we know that it's not always roses and sunshine, and sometimes there are difficult decisions that have to be made to do with children, finances, family boundaries, careers and location, amongst other things. In the context of marriage, a very important word is compromise. Not only do you have to take into consideration how matters affect you, but sometimes more importantly, you have to consider how it affects your spouse. When I see headlines like this one, It's yet another example of how certain sectors cannot wait for this particular marriage to fall apart. Firstly, I'll apologise for the noise in the background, if you can hear that. That's torrential rain <laughs> in London right now. However, this article is taken from the mirror.co.uk and it was published on the 17th of October. The subheadline is Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are reportedly divided over their potential move back to the UK to set up a base where Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet can be with their cousins, aunts and uncles. Sources have revealed that if the pair chose to set up a base in Harry's home country, they would purchase a home in the UK themselves rather than asking King Charles for a property on the royal estate. There is a divide between the couple on this issue, but they will soon start looking for a property of their own near London and Harry is very much leading this, the insider revealed. They won't be asking the King for a property on the royal estate due to the issue that arose from Frogmore Cottage. Making use of a small apartment in Kensington Palace from time to time isn't out of the question, but when it comes to a home in the UK, they will purchase that themselves, they added. As Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet get older, there's also the issue of where the children will be educated. It's not yet decided where Archie and Lilibet will be educated. Harry is swinging more toward England, while Meghan is happy for them to be educated stateside, the source told New Magazine. Royal expert, another royal expert, <laughs> Duncan Larkham also revealed that Harry has more reason to come back to the UK and will benefit from setting up a base in the UK and allowing his children to meet their extended family. He said, We've seen Harry come back on his own to the UK before, most recently for the anniversary of the Queen's death. Harry's got more reason to come back to the UK than Meghan, so I think we would see these trips, especially if he's involved with things like the Invictus Games, where most of the people who work for that are in London, Duncan continued. It's unlikely that Meghan will want to spend much time in the UK. She had shown no sign that she holds any kind of love for England, She's not given any hints she would want to move back, even temporarily, to the UK. But I think it does make sense for Harry to have a UK base, and for the couple to therefore have somewhere. If they don't have a base here, Harry's children are going to grow up not knowing their cousins, uncles or aunts, or any of their family. They're growing up fast and his father isn't getting any younger. He concluded, I think he would want to do this before it's too late. I think the idea of that would be pretty tough on Harry. I think he'd want his children to have a relationship with their cousins and in time, his father. Now, there are some aspects of this article that I can concur with. Um, yeah, I think it, it makes sense for Harry to, to have a base. It's not out of the realms of possibility. And, you know... We take these things with a pinch of salt, but I'm glad that if they are, I mean, if this is true, if they are considering um, looking for a place in London, then I'm very happy to hear that they're not going to look to his father to help them. They're more than capable of buying their own property and no one should have any objections because again, sound like a broken record in these videos, the British taxpayer won't be funding that. So compromise, compromise is the word. And, um, you know, they're trying to make out in this article that Meghan is, you know, 
has a firm objection to it. I don't, I don't personally believe that. I just think they'll work it out. Whatever happens, they'll work it out. They're reasonable adults from what I've observed. Millions of couples across the globe find themselves making similar decisions on a regular basis. Harry and Meghan are no different. I can't imagine that, knowing what was at stake, they arrived at certain decisions without very careful consideration. The media conveniently forgets that Meghan had given up her life in the States to fully support her husband and his family, knowing that she was leaving a life that she truly loved. We understand that because circumstances had later become untenable, Harry made the decision to move his family to the US. So it's difficult for me to believe that a lot of thought and intense discussions did not take place before making this life-altering choice and that they just simply made a snap decision on impulse. Do I think Harry's homesick? Um, I don't think he's necessarily homesick, but he's made it very clear that he misses his family, but not the institution. Now, if he's planning to split time between the US and the UK, it would make perfect sense that he would look for the best way to facilitate that. It's evident that the establishment misses Harry, but they do not miss Meghan, which is why stories like this will always be pushed, because they would rather see Harry unhappy in the UK on his own than happy in the States with his wife and children. How very sad. You may remember when Megan recently said this. That being a, a mom is the most important thing in my entire life. And um, outside, of course, being a wife to this one. Yeah. So even if she isn't thrilled at the prospect of touching UK soil, which I will never ever blame her for because the establishment doesn't hide the fact that she's not welcome, I find it difficult to believe that Meghan would obstruct Harry in any way because she herself knows what it's like to be far away from everything and everyone you've ever known. If Harry wants to buy a place, I don't understand why the media is creating all this drama. Other members of the royal family split their time between regions and they make it work. So I can only conclude that the media, whether mainstream or social, really does appear to have an insatiable appetite for failed relationships. In the case of Harry and Meghan, the media would have you believe that there's real trouble in paradise, but the reality is that during the last week or so, Harry and Meghan have been enjoying time together in paradise, the Grenadines to be more precise, and as always, they are living a life that these miserable newspaper columnists are truly envious of. You kind of know it's a slow day for the media when they practically salivate at the prospect of someone simply wishing to buy a property. So they will add a pinch of rumour to their recipe of disaster just to make that concoction a little bit more spicy. Hey, question for you. Do you really think that Harry would put his relationship in jeopardy when it's fairly clear that he seems to finally be happy? And let me reiterate, the British establishment, in my humble opinion, despises Meghan much more than they love Harry. So I think it's fair to say that they will stop at nothing until they see this particular relationship absolutely shattered. If your thoughts were provoked in any way, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet become a house guest, don't forget to hit subscribe and activate all of your notifications. I want to take this opportunity to thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day and you shall catch me in the next video.